Today we're taking you on a train adventure on the Eastern Line. The next train arriving at Platform 2 is an Eastern Line service to Monaco. We'll be stopping along the way to show you a few things you can do. That was amazing! Wow. Steep as! <laughs> we're sitting at the beach club. Stick around if you want to join us. Our train station which is like the central transport hub of Auckland City we are going to hop on the Eastern Line today the train is leaving in like five minutes so we better run we've got our hop cards ready which you can buy at the train station as well so let's go I just love walking into this train station there's two sets of escalators that come down then you just see all the trains in front of you it's beautiful I love it to be on the train it's pretty empty because it's a public holiday today we're actually gonna jump off the first stop because we need coffee The reason we wanted to try this train out is because it only reopened earlier this year and there's water on either side of this track. It is so cool that it's tarmac you drive over there. <sighs> this is that. This is our first stop of the day. It's the Orake train stop. You can see there's like a cinema and a little complex there. We don't know what's going to be open today because it's very quiet. Got to remember to tag off. Tag off. This train leaves every 20 minutes. So we have 20 or 40 or 60 minutes in each place. <laughs> yeah. Hop on our fourth adventure. One thing that we love about this area and a lot of this type of thing in New Zealand is these shared paths for bicycles and pedestrians and they're really done well. Um, you can see behind me. It looks brand new. <laughs> it goes on forever as well. We've, we've walked across the basin on the same path. It's all connected. Really cool. So I've seen this beach club on TikTok before but I don't know what the opening hours are for today. Our hope is that when we come back this afternoon that it would be open that we could have a late lunch or dinner there. coffee shop is really nice I can't believe we only discovering it now but it was full of people so we didn't really talk in there but the coffee was good yeah. we decided to move on to the next spot but we're not gonna take the train from here we're gonna walk to the next train station and you'll see why shortly You're about to see why we decided to walk to the next train station we are coming out in the Orake basin there's cyclists everywhere, people everywhere, it's so nice. Yeah. And here's the view. <laughs> the nice thing about this bridge is that it basically almost sits on the water you can like hear it splashing against the, the bridge the walkway is this a bridge it's a boardwalk on the water so yeah. the thing with the Orake basin is you can walk all the way around which we've done before but not today because we've got other things to do it's about a five kilometer loop if you do the whole walk around the basin our future penthouse apartment up there <laughs> We're approaching the next train station. We saw a train passing about 15 minutes ago, so it should be here soon. This is the view looking back on the boardwalk with city views in the distance, so nice. The next train arriving at Platform 2 is an Eastern Line service to Manuko. This is a three-carriage train.
as you may have noticed, this is a Craig and Chantal adventure day. So we didn't plan too much ahead of time. We're literally planning as we get off and have coffee, then we're planning like the next stop. So <laughs> we love this. And I think that's Mount Wellington. Those containers is Mount Wellington. We think. <laughs> yeah. We are getting off at Panmure. It's a very nice station actually. So we've never been here before. Let's go. You can use these machines to top up your card so that it's loaded onto your card like immediately. Otherwise on the app, it takes like- About an hour or so, but yeah. it's easier this way. Panmere station is just behind us and Mount Wellington is over there. It's a bit early for lunch, but we're hungry. We didn't really have breakfast. So we're gonna head to a spot that I found on Maps. It looks cute, so let's go check it out. I found a Burger King with a basketball court. Check that out. amazing wow. what a good find the food was amazing that chicken sandwich i had was probably the best sandwich i've ever had and they gave me gloves to eat it with because it was so messy <laughs> so saucy i had a eggs benedict which was also amazing with a really thick hash brown i'm so stuffed now we are actually gonna walk up <laughs> Mount Wellington now to walk off all the calories. All of this is within a very short walking distance from the train station. So very cool. Very Good convenient. Spot. We are on our way up Mount Wellington. We just had to get to the foot of it first, which we are now and it looks a lot bigger than we thought it was. Yep, it's gonna <laughs> be a tough walk. It just goes straight up from the beginning, so it's going to be a steep, tough walk, but I'm pretty sure the views are going to be incredible. Five steps in, Chantal's complaining already. <laughs> Let's go, girl. Let's go. It's steep. So we can see all the way from the cafe we were just at, and the train station is down there. And then Rangi Toto just popped out around the corner. So I think the views just over this little bit is going to be really cool. We can see city views popping out around the corner. We just got to a clearing and there's benches to look at the beautiful view. Just spotted one tree hill over there. City over there. Throwing it so-so over there. We are going to go up the walkway to the summit to look at the crater. This clearing is perfect for a little cricket game. They have their bats and ball. It's so cool. We are about to reach the summit. The walk wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't. It was very steep, but yeah. manageable. And not long, so definitely worth doing though, because the views from here are amazing. There are just over 50 volcanic sensors scattered in the Auckland region. And Mount Wellington is the youngest onshore volcano, approximately 10,000 years old and 135 meters high in the Auckland region. So Rangitoto is I think six or seven hundred years old. That's the youngest volcano um, and then Mount Wellington is the youngest onshore, onshore at like 10,000. 10, <laughs> Big difference. We're in that clearing now and we're peering over this fence into the crater. The camera is just not capturing how big it is. We are making our way back down the mountain, back to the train station. 
a lot easier to go down than coming up. <laughs> That's for sure. It's already 20 to 2 and this is only the third train station that we've shown you. Had a pretty busy day. <laughs> so a lot to do and see on the Eastern Line. The next station is Sylvia Park. This is the fourth train station of the day and it's right by Sylvia Park. It's super convenient. So we're just gonna hop into the mall really quickly to Kmart. We stop here just to show you that you can get to the biggest mall in Auckland with the train. The train is just back there and the mall entry is right here. <laughs> What was I get? I didn't find what I was looking for in Kmart. Also, it's super busy and the lines are really long and we need to get out of this place. We're going to the Sony store because we want to switch to Sony. We are busy saving. <laughs> we went into that Sony shop and oh my word, we found the camera that we want. We need to save a little bit more to also get a lens so we can bring you better quality videos. <laughs> <laughs> but we're getting there. Plan. cool thing about the Monaco train station is it's actually underneath the Monaco Institute of Technology so if you're a student and you need to get here it's pretty easy and as you come out on the one side there's a park right in front of us right now it's and there's like a pond or something it's our first time here okay so yeah. it looks pretty cool We're just walking the streets here of Monaco. We're about 600 meters away from the train station. There's a Westfield Mall right there. And we need something to drink. So we are trying to find a pub or something. I think I found something on maps. So we'll go check it out. There's such a bar, they're playing a Warriors game and they now there's also live music. Up the walls by the way. Yeah. And now we're rushing back to get the train because it's already four o'clock and we want to get going because we want to do one more sneaky stop. <laughs> we're back at the train station. <laughs> Bus leaves, I mean train leaves in four minutes. and sweaty because we <laughs> we ran to catch this train. Half an hour later and we're back at the Orake train stop. So it's not really not that far to go on train all the way to the south in Monaco and after this the next stop is Bridomar. So it's a lot better to travel by train. We are heading to the beach club now. The sun actually came out. Let's have a drink in the sunshine. Yeah. Late afternoon, public holiday. Let's do it. Quarter to 5 p.m. That's the time right now. Yeah. We're sitting at the beach club and we're gonna have a drink here. They have a really nice outside section. It's beautiful views, the sun is setting.
telling like a good founder's RPA. Yeah. <laughs> We ended up having only one drink. I think this would be really nice to come to if the sun is out because there's steps going down into the water and then you can swim there. I might even swim. <laughs> but now I think the train is on its way and then we're gonna go back to Britomart where we started our whole journey today. We're literally riding into the sunset today. We're now arriving at Britomart, the last stop for the service. Please make sure you take all your belongings with you. Have your ticket ready for inspection or tag off with your AT hop card. Back where we started, we're in front of the Britomart train station and we had an amazing day. And I mean, we just hopped on the train. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And yeah. it's been a long, awesome day of many activities. There's so much to do. We literally just looked on Google Maps to see what restaurants and pubs are close to the train stations. And it was so much fun. So good. So thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. And we hope you also, go on public transport and go out there and explore the city. Go on your own adventure. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Your shirt matches the wall, matches the mug. <laughs> <laughs> We've got something planned for that spot, so let's go check it out. The bus, is the bus is leaving in like five minutes. The train. The train is leaving. The trains, the last stop on the Eastern Line. Bye. Bye.